repo. And then uh, I'm going to do into the folder, I mean, and I'm going to do npm install. And we're installing. OK, cool. So it's installed. I'll plus it a little bit. Oops. And uh, we'll clear. I'm going to actually minus it. There we go. Oops. Too much. OK. So I've just got a regular Swelt project. So, um, so the first thing you need to do is you're going to scroll down. And what I like to do is I like to change this, this bundled, this file name to the component that I'm actually going to be building. So I'm going to call this uh, meetup uh, button because this is a meetup. Uh, the next thing we can do is we can take out this CSS. We won't need it. And it used to be for compiling web components, you do custom component right here, custom element, I think, right here. But they moved it into compiler options. So you say custom element true. So that will allow you to compile uh, the custom element, and it will release this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my source. And I'm going to delete all this. So I'm deleting it. Um, so I just deleted everything in the app component, which is what I'm going to use to build it. I'm going to delete all these options. So we don't need the target because we're not targeting the body. And we're not going to pass any props into the component. So I'm deleting that. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to go into my public folder, into my index.html. And I'm going to delete this uh, bundle, build bundle.css. And I'm just going to include my meetup button.js file. Like so. So this will actually conclude, include the component. And then I'm going to use the web component. So I'm going to say meetup btn. And that'll include it, like so. So now that we have that done, uh, I'm going to create a script tag. So script. And I'm just going to create a variable called count. And we're going to set count equal to 0. And then we're going to create a button. And we'll um, output count in the button. And we'll just say plus. And then I'm going to create an on-click event on the button that will allow me to increment the count. So this is probably something you've seen. So I'm going to create a function called add. And you notice I'm just using regular swell. There's nothing special about this. And this will just add one to the button. Um, so that's pretty cool. So now what I can do, um, if all this works, is I can do npm run build. And that will build the web component. But before I do that, I forgot to do something. You have to do the Swelt options. And then you want to do a tag. And you, we're going to do our tag name is meetup btn, because that's the name of our Swelt component. Um, so if anyone has any questions, uh, please let me know. But I'm going to build this, and hopefully this works. Um, it looks like it did, so that's a good sign. <laughs> so I've got this uh, this web component right here, and you can see it's all mumbo jumbo. Um, but that's not what's important. So now if I use my web component, I can do npm run. I can do npm start. So you don't want to do one run build. You want to do start because you've already compiled the web component. But if I go here, I should be able to see the web component. And you can see it's right here. It's this little plus button. And I can do that. So one thing cool that I can do is I can treat this just like a regular component. So I'm going to demo that really quick. Um, so let's say I wanted to export count. So I want to turn count into a prop, right? I can do that. And then I can go into my index.html, and I can say count equals 10. Now, this is going to come as a string, so I think there'll be an error with this. So what I can do is I can say count equals plus count. So that'll turn count into a number, plus 1. And that'll fix that um, error. So now if I run the build, um, and then I run the start, and I refresh. You can see now it starts out at 10, and I can go 11, 12, 13. Now, the other thing you can do is you can do styles, because right now that button is like stupidly small. Um, so I can do um, a style, and I can say button, and I'll just show you with 100 pixels, height 100 pixels, and we'll do a background color of green, because that'll be pretty obvious. OK, so now if I do this run build again, 
and then I do start and I refresh, you can see it does the styling for me. And the only thing you need is the, uh, is the JavaScript. So the JavaScript includes all the styles as well. So um, this, is, this comes in really handy, not just for um, converting, um, uh, converting an app over, but also for Chrome extensions and things that would be normally, you might struggle with adding components into Swell. You can just, you can export them as a uh, as a web component and then just use them in your project and the only thing you need to do is um is just include this meetup or just include your your thing and i have a uh i have a link that i'll put in the ch in the uh, chat that shows you how to do this with view angular and react with angular there's a little bit more work um because of their uh ecosystem and whatnot um not uh because of the their, their framework's a little bit more complex than the other frameworks but it's definitely possible so uh if anyone has that was just a quick demo i wanted to give but if anyone has any questions um i'll, I'll be happy to uh happy to answer them so you said you know obviously when you're converting uh, projects that have web web components. That's how you would do it. Do you use web components in your regular projects pretty often? Um, not not too often. Um, I'm using them right now in a Chrome extension I'm building. Mm -hmm. So um, rather than like using uh, Swell to build the Chrome extension, or like if you want to insert a Swell object dynamically in the page, uh, you can use it there. Um, so I, I I do use them a little bit, um, but not not super not super often I, I i think i was talking to some people um at the last meetup and a lot of people wanted like a way to use swell but not um not go nuclear mm -hmm. on their projects so this was uh this was kind of the uh, kind of the kind of uh, a way of doing it i guess you could say cool 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 but yeah, um, I'll okay. So yeah, so I'll I'll post that link um, really quick. But yeah, if um, but yeah, if anyone has any questions or or comments um, on anything, uh, anything Swell related, uh, or any any comments to Jim, uh, please please go ahead and go for it. And uh, yeah, I'll be yeah we'll we'll be here for the next uh, ten or fifteen minutes. I'm getting that link. Uh, right now yeah this is this is the link um going over how to uh do that and there's a video with um uh, uh demos as well and code demos as well so feel free to take a look and if you have any questions like i said i'll be happy to answer okay cool awesome Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, so um so yeah, so does anyone have any feedback or anything they'd like to see as far as uh content? Um any yeah, does like um I'm kind of curious what's everyone's experience with Swelt and how how can uh how can this meetup help you um use it better or or um or what what can we do to help? I guess that's that's a quick question. It's kind of curious. I have a question, I guess. Um, unless yeah, go for it. Says, has it like so? I know um, you know the much anticipated Svelte kit uh, coming out in the near future. Has anybody had a chance to play with that or experiment around with it? Is it is it even public? I'm not even sure if you're able to. But I'm just curious if anyone's touched that yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Hey Noah, um, I do think um, there's a JavaScript LA meeting, and I think it kind of overlaps with the same time slot, but um, it's a pretty large group, and they kind of invited the world. Um, 
oh. might want to advertise there to look for viewers and maybe think about like shifting the schedule just slightly. <laughs> Cause I think I've signed up twice before and haven't attended, but uh, oh, this one was really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah. Is it, is it, is it every Wednesday or is it? Um... No, no I, I don't actually know right off the top of my head. I've only done one of those, but, um, and they're, they're kind of react centric, but anyway, I, I think it's a large enough group, like a thousand plus members or something that, um, be good to post something there. <laughs> Definitely. Well, how, how do you, how do you spell the group's name? Let me look it up. Okay, cool, cool. We actually also run a, a Jamstack meetup out here in Boston. Um, so if Noah or anybody who's in this felt stuff is interested in at talking there or, or even like, you know, coming and saying hi and, and even, you know, talking about this meetup to, to get some cross pollination, we're always open to that. We like, I think we're in, in similar spaces. Obviously, Svelte doesn't have to be all Jamstacky, but um, it definitely can be. So if anyone's interested in that, come chat with us. Um, it's a pretty good and group. And uh, yeah, po post a link for sure, if, if you don't mind. Sure. That'd be great, yeah. I miss the real meetups, <laughs> but this is great. Yeah. yeah, it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's just the way it is. <laughs> but we'll get back to normal soon enough, whenever that is. And Jim, that stuff, that just blows me away. I'm excited to go look some more at Plenty. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad you like it. That's awesome. Put in that link too. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Do, have you... Um posted anything in like the uh, discord showcase for svelte about plenty jim i haven't uh no so like the svelte discord is that what you're saying yeah they have a a, a showcase channel hmm. and i think they would eat this stuff up i mean um and really nice people there there's it seems like there's sort of a, a heavy european group there in the discord so they're often asleep by the time I get on in the morning, but sure. um, they'll pick it up eventually. But uh, I bet they would love to see that. Awesome, yeah, no, that that's great. Yeah, I, sometimes I don't really know how to like get it out there or whatever. So it's always good to, to know about channels like that. Um, I'll take a look. Yeah, there's one guy too. Um, uh, let me look up his name, but it's he goes by like Swix or something. He's um, oh, he's Sean, in the yeah, yeah. So he's he's always looking for ways to promote uh, Spelt. So he's, uh, and I think he's working for Amazon now. So yeah, I, I brainstormed with him like really early. Like I can't remember. I was I was Twitter DMing with him like way back, just with ideas about how Plenty could work. And um, he was like super open about like you know just chatting and, and figuring things out. So, but I haven't put it on his radar in a while. So maybe I should reach out. To him again. They, they seem super friendly and like they were really psyched that that uh, that JavaScript um, survey came out uh, for 2020 and Svelte got number one in most uh, interest and most satisfaction today. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, that is really cool. I didn't plan to try to join the cool kids, but you know, here we are. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, I'm all in on Svelte these days, obviously uh, building plenty, but like it just for me is just such a simple way of approaching some of this stuff. And I, I just love the feeling like getting back to the basics, like getting back to the, the roots of HTML, CSS and JavaScript, even if it's not really that behind the scenes, it feels like it is. And I, and I really like it. Well, thanks a bunch. And I look forward to future meetups. So yeah, thanks, thank, Noah. Thanks, Noah. Thank you. All right, so that uh, I think that concludes uh, this uh, month's uh, meetup, um, and uh, yeah, um, de uh, definitely send me an email, um, abj uh, AB ajc web dev, and uh, and we'll we'll get you booked uh, for the next month or whenever it works for you, and um, I will uh, I'll catch you all soon. Okay, see you later.